In this video, we will go over wireless microphone system components and some important information on how antennas work so they can be set up properly when installed. The two main components of a wireless microphone system are the receiver and the transmitter. Receivers can come in single or multiple channel versions depending on the manufacturer and model. Each channel can receive one transmitter at a time. The transmitters generally come in two varieties, a handheld and a body pack. The body pack is generally used for referees or when hands-free operation is needed. Each transmitter needs a microphone element to capture the sound. On modern handhelds, most have interchangeable capsules so that these can be replaced if damaged or changed out for a different microphone type. Belt packs get a lavalier microphone plugged into them. These are interchangeable as long as they have the right connector and pinout for the belt pack. Dactronics provides ref switches for use with belt packs so that referees can mute and unmute themselves instead of signaling to a board operator that they need to talk. The ref switches Dactronics uses come in three different types. A Dactronics branded ref switch, a Sure single output ref switch, and a Sure dual output ref switch, which can be used with two receiver channels and two belt packs for a redundant setup. There are three main antenna types that are used in Dactronics systems. The first is an Omni antenna. This is a simple short stick antenna. This antenna is linearly polarized. We will discuss what this means a bit later, and this antenna is good for indoor venues and small stadiums. The LPDA antenna, more commonly referred to as a high gain antenna and sometimes a paddle, is a directional antenna. This means that it has decreased reception on the rear and sides and increased gain or increased reception towards the front. This antenna also has linear polarization. Helical antennas are also directional, again having reduced reception on the sides and rear and an increased gain towards the front. These antennas are circularly polarized. Polarization is the way that the electromagnetic wave radiates off of the antenna. In linear polarization, the electromagnetic wave leaves the antenna in a plane parallel to the antenna. When looking at the wave straight on, it would look like a vertical line that is lined up with the antenna, as shown here. Why is this important? Wireless microphone transmitters generally have a linear polarization. When the receiving antenna and microphone are lined up so that they both have the same polarization, the signal strength is the strongest at the receiver. If the polarization is 45 degrees off, approximately half the signal strength is lost. And if the polarization is 90 degrees off, even more signal strength is lost and dropouts are likely to occur. Wireless microphone antennas are usually installed in pairs. Be sure to install linear antennas so they are standing up and positioned so they are making a 90 degree angle between them. This increases chances that a microphone is always within 45 degrees of being lined up with an antenna. In circularly polarized antennas, the electromagnetic wave leaves the antenna in a spiraling wave that would look like a circle if viewed from the end. This circular polarization also means that the transmitter orientation does not matter. Due to the spiraling, the receiving antenna has an alignment in any orientation. When mounting antennas, they should be at least 5 feet apart if possible. This helps both with potential reception issues specific to an antenna location, and keeps any transmitting antennas from interfering with receiving antennas. Mount antennas with a clear line of sight of the coverage area. Do not mount antennas behind tinted glass or low E glass, as this blocks most of the radio signal from coming through. Chain link and metallic fences can also block the radio signal since the wavelength is bigger than the spacing of the fence mesh, which will then block the signal from coming through. Orient antennas with linear polarization so they are 90 degrees off with one another so transmitters are always within 45 degrees of an antenna polarization. Aiming the antennas does not necessarily mean pointing the antenna at the coverage area. For the Omni antenna, it is best to aim directly up or tilt so the side of the antenna faces the coverage area. For the high gain and helical antennas, the front of the antenna should be pointed towards the coverage area. For some examples, on football fields, aim each antenna at a 30 yard line at the center of the field. For basketball arenas, aim each antenna at a free throw line 